everyone welcome back so today's video is kind of like episode one of my moving out vlog I've got some footage of me going to inspect the property today i wasn't a big fan of it but we have found another one that we really like that i'll speak about with you guys further on in the video contour map it's so cute and i really like that bath mat as well is it a round one it's a pom-pom mm, one anything it's so cute and it matches the kmart rug we're getting how much is it 20 bucks <gasps> get it <laughs> i really like these for the kitchen If we can find another one of these, it's a sign, right? That we need to buy it. So these face washes are on clearance for $2 each. So we've literally bought eight. <laughs> Cause why not? They're cheap. So we found this little stone tray. This one's broken, but Kim's got a good one. And we're gonna put our kitchen soap on it. So I'm really excited. I'm on my way to do my first rental inspection. I'm so excited. Okay, so the place I just inspected I didn't like. It was too small. It didn't have a study nook area. The balcony was great, but the noise from the balcony was so loud. It's just off a main road. And I didn't really realize that. I know a lot of the other properties I'm looking at are just off main roads. So that's something I have to consider if they're all going to be noisy, I'm just going to have to deal with it. But this property itself, for what they're asking, it's just not, I don't love it. I do want to move somewhere that I love. Like I want it to be worth it. We just found this other property that we love. So we just got sent all the photos and like a virtual tour on um, Dropbox and I viewed it and I love it. It's so nice. It's on the ground floor, but it's an apartment. We have like a really nice like back patio area with like this door that leads like to the outside. So it's like the best. It's like an apartment, but it's not. It's like on the ground floor. I don't know how to explain that. But you get what I mean, right? I'm really excited. Fingers crossed we've sent our applications in. So the place is available 28th of March. So not long. I'm so excited. That's two weeks away. Pray for me. Yesterday I pretty much went and did a little bit of a shop homeware. So I bought some things from Big W, Adairs, Pillow Talk and Spotlight. So I'll just show you what I purchased from Spotlight. They had the four face washes in this like mossy kind of color which really go with the theme of the bathroom these were clearance for two dollars each so i'm so happy that i got these and then when we were there i also found this tissue box holder and i think this was 15 18 dollars usually 30 so they had a sale we went to pillow talk a little ornament for the coffee table I don't really know what I'm going to use it for. Uh, I just love the look of it, like the bubble look. It kind of reminds me of the bubble candle, which I also want to get. They have one at Kmart now, but it's always sold out. The little box from Pillow Talk was also $12. Then as well from Pillow Talk, I also got this female body candle, which just to show you size wise, it's quite big. It was only like $12 as well, which is such a good price. And they also had a sale at Pillow Talk, so I bought this little bath shower caddy. I got one of these for Kim as well. These were um, $10, so usually they were $20s. Then we had a look at Ronnie's and looked at like fake plants and towels and stuff. This towel set that I really liked. It's in the color Seafoam, so I just got hand towels. I got four hand towels here, and they're kind of like a similar color. 
See what I mean? Like they're slightly different. I just wanted to show you guys as well what I picked up from Kmart. So I found this really cute soap dispenser. This is actually marble. And I also got the candle from Kmart as well, which is also marble. So these match. I love it. This one's in the scent leather, vanilla and amber. And the good thing about this candle as well is that you can buy just the refills. So once you have the actual pot, you can just buy the refills. So that's amber and you can just like slot them in like that, which I love. So when you run out of favorite candle, you don't have to buy the whole thing again. And then when I was there, I also picked up these for the laundry, which I've seen everyone get onto the trend at the moment. So this says wash. So we're going to fill this up with washing powder. And then I also got one for soak, which I've actually already put stuff in. So just ignore that stain remover, basically. So I actually just ended up going to Big W as well. So I just wanted to show you guys what I purchased at Big W. So I found these pillows. This is like a green kind of khaki color with these tassels on the edging. I also got these as well. So this is just a white textured one as well. So I feel like these colors go really nice together. I picked up this ceramic vase, which I think is so cute. Like, let's put them together. Another thing I got was this. It's like an over the door basket. I don't really know where I'll put it, but I feel like I can put plants in it. Oh my God, why is that there? Last but not least, I also got a door hook because this is got that white and brown coloring. I think this will probably go in the bathroom so I can put like my bathrobe on the back of it. Yes, I've changed my shirt and the lighting has changed. I'm sorry, I was filming another video and then I realized I haven't even showed you the rest of this haul. Like something just came in the mail like about half an hour ago. So I purchased on Etsy from the Organized Emporium these shampoo, body wash and conditioner bottles. So I've just got this one here, which is shampoo. And then I've got the conditioner and the body wash. So these just came in the mail today. So I saved $15 on the sale for these. It was $37 altogether, which it is a bit expensive, but you're supporting a small business. So I'm really happy with them. The only thing that I wasn't expecting is I was kind of hoping that the text would fit like the front of the bottle, but it wraps around, which is still fine. Like they're really cute. I'm happy with them still. So later on, I'm going to fill up all of my products in here and then they're just gonna look so cute in the shower just all matching so that's literally everything that i bought from the shops today Bunnings to look at coffee tables. There was like this terrazzo metal, terrazzo top or something stone coffee table that I was looking at, and we were looking for this plastic white one I'll insert here, which we couldn't find. So we didn't find anything we liked there. So now we're just on our way home. Just excuse the way I look. I have the worst breakouts at the moment. I'm just sitting in bed at my boyfriend's house. Just got a call from the real estate for the property that we love. And they just said that we got accepted. I'm moving basically. They've, they've changed the date. It was going to be originally 28th of March. Now it's 17th of April, which is fine. We're not in any rush. So that's given us a couple weeks just to kind of prepare, save some more money. Gives me a chance to organize a removal list as well. We're confirmed, it's ours. I'm so excited. I really want to get Kim's reaction. Kim's at work, so she can't call me, but look, <laughs> I'm so excited. So Kim and I just paid our first week of rent, which is our deposit. So that's all done. Then we just have to send through four weeks rent for bond money. So they're just going to be sending us the email now for that. I think it's like a three week, three, four week wait now, which is going to kill me. I'm very impatient. If you enjoyed this video, this is the first of the many episodes of moving. I've got so much more things to show you guys. If you really enjoyed, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. If you like my channel as well, subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.